Abenaki Native American petroglyphs in Bellows Falls, Vermont. The energy at these sites calls audio and technical interference. Order of Light Productions presents. Hi, this is Robert Earl White with the Order of Light. And we are here in Vermont in Bellows Falls. We are at an ancient Abenaki Native American tribe petroglyph site. And now there are many great petroglyphs like this found across the world. As you can see, many other petroglyphs can be found like the ones in Bellows Falls, Vermont, all around the world, including the Sago Canyon in Utah, large heads with eyes and antennas, and to the top right, the Petroglyphs National Park in New Mexico, very similar heads with antennas. And to the bottom right, we have the Aboriginal tribes in Australia who have the same kind of heads. And to the left, also in New Mexico, you can see more heads that are very similar to this with the antennas, which helps us that these great spirits all have a connection throughout many different cultures throughout history. When you compare the petroglyphs in Bellows Falls, Vermont, with others found around the world, with the antennas, the small mouths, no nose and eyes, it's amazing the correlations that can be found throughout history with these great spirits. This is a drawing of the early 19th century rock that has been lost due to construction in the area. Unfortunately, in the construction of this bridge, they used a lot of dynamite and explosions caused rocks to fall on this site. And there are more petroglyphs actually found underneath of here. Here is a picture of one of the sites before having the rocks on top of it and as you can see they were all over the faces of the rocks. Truly amazing. Now there are several locations in this area where these petroglyphs can actually be found and they are ranging from anywhere from a thousand years old to possibly three thousand years old. This drawing may be another panel that was destroyed from the construction and it's quite different from the other panels discovered nearby. Could it possibly still be under the rubble? So along with this, the Native American people believe that these were great spirits. And you have to wonder, when they were drawing these, were they trying to actually draw something that they saw? And these are peculiar spirits, as you can see with the antennas coming out and the small mouth and the eyes. And let me tell you, the energy here is just phenomenal. With the water, the energy coming from the sound, from the birds flying here, this is truly a holy place. And to just imagine that it was my ancestors from the Abenaki tribe that actually created these petroglyphs. It's amazing and I believe that they can talk to the people that are willing to try to come in contact with this universal consciousness and with Mother Earth. It's all here and it's all written down. This is one of my many great ancestors, Dan J. Emmett or Wasa Emmett from the Abenaki tribe. Dan built a canoe for Anna and Avery Rockefeller, yes, the Rockefeller, around 1928. It was maintained by him and only paddled on one lake, Amperson Lake, and it was donated to the Adirondack Museum. It was known to be a magical canoe that he only built two of. Amazing ancestor. In the surrounding area, there are actually burial mounds and many of the great people buried and resting in this very location. Just south of the petroglyphs in Bellows Falls is Brattlesboro, Vermont, the Cove, sacred Native American lands. This is a spiritual amazing place and our guide, Annette Spaulding, archaeologist and professional diver, taught us about some of the history in the area and some of the other sites. Hi, I'm Annette Spaldi. I'm a scuba diver, and um, thanks to the amazing conservation uh, done by the river over the years with groups such as the Connecticut River Con um, Conservancy and other water protection, the, the clarity of the water from 30 years ago to now is really, really significant. And it's enabled me to actually dive um, and find things or rediscover things that years ago 
I would never be able to see with three inch visibility and now I have like 30 foot visibility. Um, years ago I was doing a research project about 30 years ago um, on Fort Dummer which is just um, south of here and while doing that I came across this very significant uh, drawing of, of, of a rock called Indian Rock and it really intrigued me and then I started doing research about the culture here and this is an amazing place. I spent about 30 years off and on exploring this area and then I did two years of very significant diving underwater um, looking for um, what I saw was evidence of the Native American um, very very significant spiritual Native American area here it's called the Cove it's where the confluence of the West River comes into the Connecticut River and there are very significant um, petroglyph sites now underwater as a result of a dam going in in 1909. These sites, many of them were above, all of them I believe were above water, but because of the dam and the difference of the water level, they um, are underwater. And so I just wanted to make sure, I was hoping I could rediscover that, discover, make sure that they were not uh, destroyed in any way um, and that they were still this is a very very spiritual place um the cove this connection here um history tells us and and native americans uh handing down a history of this area that um a very significant place where these two rivers came together for fishing um food uh, resting and maybe many other things i'm not native american but i've learned so much from them and i'm so happy that um, I had the experience to rediscover some of their culture, photograph it for them, and reconnect. And so many things have happened um, over the years, and this was their land. And I am so happy that we could reconnect and work together. Um, I didn't do this or take the land away, and I am so upset that my, I'm embarrassed that what happened in the past, but the past change that but what I love is that this place right now the present the, the preservation of this it is so it's a place to come to reflect and be respectful and it's here and now this is a beautiful place that that many people can benefit from with the history and behind me you can see this very beautiful place and there's eagles on a regular basis here um, there's just a very, very spiritual feeling here, and I really am so happy. Um, there's all kinds of things happening right now with the land trust to preserve this beautiful piece of land from any development, and I'm very, very happy about that. These are truly powerful spirits, and this was done out of love and respect to my ancestors and to all the other Native American people. It's truly amazing and a great opportunity to be here and to come and connect with my ancestors and just see the message that they left behind. And when you start to look around the world and other great tribes, and study the great message they left for us to learn. It's as clear as day, isn't it? So gorgeous and beautiful. So thank you so much. Hope that you enjoyed this. I sure did. Robert R. White, Bellows Fall, Vermont. Abenaki, Native American Petroglyphs. This was truly an amazing journey where I got to reconnect with my ancestors through these ancient drawings that they left for me in these ancient sacred spots filled with great energy. So I encourage the viewers to look into your own native history and to help preserve these great lands for future generations. Please like, share, and subscribe. The Order of Light.